hi guys and girls welcome back to my channel i do hope you're doing well oh what is that we're having a little interruption already guys hello september i do apologize that this is a tad late guys the weekend was very manic with the house stuff which means there's going to be another movie vlog coming very soon and then we was going to film for Monday night, but me and Dan had a little bit of a date night. So we went, got some last little minute bits for holiday, had a bite to eat. And by the time we got back, I was like, I'm going to have to tell me lovelies. It's a day postponed. So I do apologise, but September is upon us. And you guys may be looking and thinking, Shannon, what is that you're wearing? I saw this on Instagram from Online Home Shop guys i was obsessed and i did ask your opinion and you were like shan go treat yourself and it's a hallow autumn snoody you will see me living in this i can't lie this month you will see me absolutely living in this because this is just me this is me in a snoody for autumn and winter so best believe once we're fully in the house this is all i'm living in Sod all the clothes that I've been boxing up and taking into the vans. I'm just going to stay in a snoody because the one thing I didn't think through, I packed up all of me dressing gowns, nightwear, pyjamas, everything like that. I've just left one dressing gown and I'm like, it's not very autumnal, it's me red one guys. And you guys have seen me in that quite a bit. So I was like, you know what? I wasn't going to unbox this until I got to the house, but it needs must. And I've even roped in mum's one if you remember i got a one with a hedgehog so i think i might use that for say a sit down um with shan video because yeah i was like i need to try and keep up with some autumnal vibes we've got the little pumpkin here from primark and i've got some autumnal cushions out but yeah we're making do i've even got my pumpkin bedding on trying to make do because guys september oh my goodness i thought august was a busy month september Whew. I'm only really in England for two and a bit weeks for September. So that is concerning because there is so much to still do at the house. But I just, if I can get all of the painting and wallpaper and that done and potentially all of the DIY before we go away, I'll be happy. I won't be happy because I don't think I will have been able to do the home tour, which means I won't be able to fully decorate for autumn. And that's what's throwing me out a bit because you guys know I love to decorate for autumn and Halloween and that. So I don't quite know how it's going to go. I feel next year is going to be the year where I get every single old decoration out and new and the whole house is going to be covered. This year I feel it might be how it was last year and I pop the bits out that I pick up that year. So for you guys this year, once I do it, you might think, oh, that's minimal. But just please think it's a work in progress <laughs> because the one thing I am looking forward to is Christmas this year. That I'm not holding back on. My credit cards may say otherwise, but in my head I'm like, spend, spend, spend. And my credit cards are going, no, no, no. <laughs> but... We will see how it goes. Um, I've got a few autumnal hauls that I've bought some bits and bobs for. I also have in the pipeline kind of um, some places where I think I'm going to go for some Halloween content. So it's just all about getting the time to do it. To be perfectly honest, my lovelies, to do it. Because you know me, I like to throw myself into content. And I like to make sure that you guys have content for when I'm away as well. Because... I hate missing anything or like if it's delayed I'll always let you know on the community post but yeah these are the busy times and Shannon always likes to go away and sun herself on the busiest times and also she wants to throw in the mix of buying a house adult life but September what do we think of the first few days of September the weather has been a bit uh, but I can't lie I'm kind of here for it because that means that autumnal mornings and nights are coming in I can't wait to have this, be over at my little hot chocolate coffee station, making a warm drink and going and sitting on the sofa. We still not bought the sofa, by the way, guys. I mean, that's a whole, it's a whole nother thing. You'll see in the moving vlog, I think it's coming, is it this week or next week? I can't really remember, but um, there's been a lot of stuff happening and slowly, slowly getting there. All of the flooring's done now. And as I say, um, this stuff is uh, fluffing everywhere. Oopsie. 
and we've just got a little bit more of like painting and wallpaper in it. Downstairs will be the task because we haven't even touched downstairs. Apart from the kitchen being put in, nothing else has been touched. So yeah, I need to look into that because that is going to be a task in itself. But September, let's get the good old fashioned countdown app because this is how, if I didn't have this, I would not be able to live my life according to schedule because I would have no clue. So let me kick it off. The first thing, the first thing in September, I'm going to Legoland. I've never been to Legoland. I don't really know much about Lego, but it is an experience. So we are off to Legoland. And then the following day, me and mum are off to Swan Lake, the ballet. I cannot wait for that like that is something mum's always wanted to do but I think I quite like the ballet you know so uh yeah we'll see how that goes that will definitely be an experience and I won't be vlogging Legoland that's just going to be like a day off chill day but I will be vlogging the Swan Lake because of course I think there will be like a, some form of a little gift shop or merchandise at the theatre you know that your girl's got to get that right so yeah that will be a vlog Another one that I think could be potentially a vlog is we're going for, if you remember for Christmas, Dan got me two car experiences, a police interceptor and a drifting. The police interceptor one is later on in the year, but we're going to the drifting one. 8am we have to be there. I think from the house, we've got to leave at about six, half six to where the location is. But I am going to try and vlog as much of that as I can, or if I can buy like a photo or video package there because i'm excited for this let me tell you an unlimited speed race course i'll get me on that get me on that i cannot wait like literally mind blown cannot wait for that cannot 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 and then the day after that actually a very exciting i am back off now in primark basildon guys we're doing another little collab video so there will be a come shop with me in primark basildon for the autumnal bits and i believe if we are back in time we may pop into london because i have got a little funky lunch book so i don't know that might just be a little random vlog or i might just talk to you about it in a moving vlog because for that by the time we get back if we get there to come back we'll be quite late so i don't think there'll be much time for vlogging it might literally be we'll come from basildon come to mum's jump on the train and tube stuff our face come back crash out for work because then we're getting we're getting closer to the holiday guys um and then also i have dan's birthday this month so i am in full preparation i have presents on order i need to get my wrapping paper bag and card i also need to get a few little bits because i think we're going to be at the house so i want to make like his first birthday special at the house so i'm thinking like a few little banners and balloons of course i will be cooking a lovely sunday dinner because that is what he's requested and i believe it will be the first meal of the house so we'll see how it goes i mean i will be very very conscientious to keep that oven clean <laughs> literally to the point the fat will probably still be hot in there and i'll be like no I need to get it clean. That's something, guys. Has anyone seen online? It's like a brush. And it's a motorised scrubber brush that people put on their glass doors in the oven. If you know where I can get one, because whenever I click on it, my Norton on my phone's like, no, blocked. If you know where I can get one that isn't going to be a scam website, can you please let me know down below? Because, as I say, that is something I feel that will come in very, very handy. So, um, yes, we have Dan's birthday, of which... I will be trying to make it a lovely little day. I don't know what we've got planned just yet, but I'm sure we'll see. That I probably won't vlog because that's... You guys see my birthday, but Dan, he... You know, he's not star spotlight. He's not all about that vibe. You'll see him popping in and out of vlogs and a side glance here and there, or if he sticks his head quickly and pops out, but he, he doesn't want, like, dedicated vlogs and that. So I'm like, you know what? That is a little day for us. And then, two days later... We are off to the airport. We are putting that out of office on for about 16, 17 days, I think it is. Bye <laughs> to work. We are coming back to Mama G's, dropping all of our stuff off. And then we're actually getting picked up from Mama G's to go to the airport. Because looking at 
the car and everything like that i've heard a few stories where people leave their cars and then they get back and it's not really the condition that they left it in and to be honest after a nine nine and a half hour flight coming back i probably ain't going to want to be doing the driving neither of us will be so i was like you know what i asked around my local area down mums and uh, one of my good friends she was like oh i use this guy no problems message bish bash bosh got all the details sorted so yes we um again picked up we are then getting taken to the premier inn we're staying overnight once again and then on tuesday the following morning we fly out to st lucia guys i cannot wait when i tell you this holiday is well needed i feel since may everything has just been flat out flat out with the house trying to get bits done and here with mum and stuff with the neighbours next door and you know when it's just like we need a break and there's been a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes that it's just like it's unnecessary ag and me and Dan are just like we're gonna go and chill we're gonna go and have fun and he's very much adamant he's like I don't want you to change what you would do on holiday because I'm here because I was like hold on now mister no one's seen me on holiday with someone you guys are used to seeing me Dominican, Jamaica. I'm loving like my life on my own. Whoop, whoop, we're going zip line and we're doing this. Apart from Reykjavik, Iceland, where that was like our little anniversary city getaway, we haven't had a proper holiday. We've had the log cabin, that was a week. Reykjavik was four nights, but two weeks in the heat, all inclusive, drinks are flowing, temperatures rising. Who knows what we're going to be like? But I said to him, I've already looked, I think there is zip lining, and he is down for zip lining, and I think there's scuba dive as well. But I have said if we go for scuba dive, can we do it towards the end of the holiday? Because I don't know how my hair's gonna turn in the chlorine. Quite right, it could turn potentially green. So yeah, <laughs> that's something we're gonna um do. But yeah, you know what? It's just gonna be a chill holiday. I don't want any drama. I can't be bothered with any like sourness. I, it's not needed. It's not welcomed. And I just think bore off, basically. It did make me laugh, guys. I saw on my um, sheen haul. So I was very open with you guys at the beginning. And I said, you know what? It's Mother Nature. And I've just demolished a KFC bucket. So you know what? It's going to be a bit more podgier. I was open with you guys. I know it looks a little bit tight. This morning, if I stand up and show you, I'm flat as a pancake. I don't know how. I mean, there was a little bit of a definition there. <laughs> Trust me, I don't know how. But our bodies fluctuate around that time of the month. I had quite a few comments of, I'm going to call them spam accounts. The fake accounts that when you go on, they've only been created, some of them even hours before the comment. Um, just spouting nastiness and I think I know what you're doing you haven't even listened to the beginning where I explain it you just skip 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 and then you want to leave your vile comments I can take it on the chin trust me guys you know I have a very I have a broad back and I have strong shoulders not a lot of comments get to me however what I would personally say because I had a bit of an interaction with one of the people is by saying certain words, I don't think people realise that YouTube will actually block and violate, um, they block certain comments that violate their guidelines. So YouTube have like a system and if certain words come up that they could deem as triggering or abusive, it will just not get done, it will get blocked in essence or it will go into a section on YouTube where you have to approve comments. And the other day I was having emails through and I was like, what is going on here? And when I looked, it was because I had loads in the haven't responded um, pending confirmation and some that had gone live and been removed. And it's the wording because some comments went into um, the ones of which I had to approve and then some were straight up taken off. And I had a bit of an interaction with one person and I said, it's all well and good you have in your opinion. I, I'll take constructive criticism. That's not a problem. When I'm very evident and I say, it's the time of the month, you girl's a bit bloated. She's had cravings for hot wings and I've just sat and demolished a whole bucket of them. Let's just go with the flow and see what it's like. To then have someone who may have not seen that, or they have and they just still felt like they needed to leave a comment, 
of your fact maybe size up to an excel your horrendous what is the state of you lose weight etc along those lines that was what the comments were and the one i think the word weight was allowed but the others they was the ones that i was getting emails to be like that's violated it's not going up so i was like okay and i responded back to one of them and i said i'm quite easy going but what i haven't really delved upon on my channel is i've not always had a good relationship with food and for me i'm back on the touch wood i'm good um they was the comments that we saw yesterday when we went out to tan dan said we'll go get food and i said to him i should really just have a lettuce leaf because i told him about the comments and to say he was angry was an understatement and i'm like yeah it is what it is but i didn't i had a three course dinner with dan we had a lovely Italian, I had my dessert, and I enjoyed every blooming mouthful of it. So, yes, I might be fat and horrendous right now, but you know what? Another thing, if you don't want to see someone eat, or if you think I'm fat and I'm going to carry on eating on holiday, you best believe, because I have paid a lot of money for that holiday, and I am going to be stuffing my face and drinking my body weight in my cocktails, my pina coladas, floating around in my rubber ring, living my best life. I can deal with the weight when I come back, guys. You guys have seen me when I get fully into the gym, and within three months, I can lose up to two and a half stone. It doesn't bother me at the moment. Okay, let's be real. I know I've put on a bit. God, this is really turning from a hell of September, but you know what I mean. I know I've put on a bit of weight, but have I got time to be getting up at 2am to go to the gym every morning? No, to be perfectly honest. Do I have time for my PT now? No, and I don't have the expense for my PT. I could not be paying £400 every month and a half for PT lessons at the moment. I've got a mortgage and a house to run, guys. Um... Am I going to scrimp and scrape on holiday? No. If I want pizza at 2am in the morning, you best believe I'm calling that room service and be like, hello, pepperoni ready to go. Thank you. I'm not going to punish myself because I know I've put on a few pounds. I stepped on the scales the other day, guys. I put weight on, not as much as I thought, but I had put a bit on and I was just like, it is what it is. I'm going through a big transition in life currently. I'm coming into my 30s next year. I've just bought a house. I'm trying to do it up. Like, there's a lot of things going on. And for me, getting up and going to the gym isn't one of them. I'm running on about four and a half to five hours sleep as it is a day. Can you see these bags under my eyes? <laughs> you stay away. I can't be doing any less than that. Because if what I do, I end up getting run down. You guys always know in Vlogmas week or so before christmas whew, i hit rock bottom because i still need to be able to put time into filming and editing so there is a lot of stuff going on and when i see comments like that i just think oh bore off because i get used to the regular names and there will be people who do have their names in the comments and they are people that i know regularly leave crappy comments to be honest and i just think if my content is that crappy or it always leaves you feeling you need to comment something just pedantic why are you watching and for all the accounts that are created an hour ago or a day ago whatever what are you doing because i'm not a big channel so i can tell you now i will not be coming up on these people's for you page or trending anything like that people are searching and i think if you're searching you're digging and you're wanting to find something and you're kind of wanting to just be nasty so why don't you just use that time into being proactive and not being a total arsehole to put it quite bluntly but my thing is because i did go off on a tangent i didn't always have a good relationship with food and i'm on the straight and narrow now but something like that could at any point tip someone over the edge and if you were to say that to someone because again i don't think half these people would say it to my face but behind a keyboard, everyone's a warrior. If you used to say that to someone who wasn't as strong-minded or maybe was a bit more sensitive, you could put someone into like a relapse mode. And that's not that's not for anyone else to be able to have to put someone into that through their words and just plain ignorance, to be honest. So, yeah, I was, was talking to Dan and I said, I've never really spoke about, like, my relationship with food growing up because it wasn't always dandy. 
there was times when it wasn't good and it wasn't always good is what I'm trying to say and I said but like I feel like I need to just not put people in their place but like stop because you could say that to me on a bad day and I would not eat for three four days no water no food nothing I put myself to the point I would pass at so that's not really good because then my hypoglycemia goes all through the roof and my sugars go away well and it's not good but I just think people need to be a bit more conscientious of what they're saying and I think if you wouldn't say it to someone's face then don't put it behind a keyboard because it's not nice that's what I was trying to say I want September September is supposed to be a fun month of autumn and as I say if I am looking a bit chunkier after the holiday guys I'm going to be covering myself with jumper dresses yep everything flowing we'll deal with it in the new year we will deal with it in the new year because i for one i'm not bothered at the moment don't get me wrong i'll still probably have moments on holiday when i'll be sitting down to you guys going oh shouldn't have had that third taco shouldn't have had that fourth cocktail so it, i'm on holiday so uh yeah that was just i just wanted to clear that up because i think i'm bored i'm bored of all these fake accounts like now it's just pff, get gone and if my content really does offend you guys or you think my body image is horrendous please don't watch please don't watch i am not the type of person who creates content where i sit here face glam and all that you probably see me more without makeup than i put makeup on this is real life and would i like to be one of these youtubers who's always on point sometimes yes because i look at myself now and i'm like god you look a state you're sitting in a blooming snooty bare face but you know what i am what i am take me as i am or watch me as i leave and i won't be holding the door open for you you know so yes that was just my little tangent but guys september september what is it gonna bring for you if you did enjoy the video let me know not let me know you know what to do hit the thumbs up and subscribe down below and let me know what september holds for you any birthdays any occasions any last minute winter sun what is the vibe that we are going for september guys and does anyone else have any plans but take care stay safe as always i do apologize that it's late and i'll see you in the next one bye guys mm -hmm.